nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plus 30 seconds, and our 41st Electron has lifted off from the pad at Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1. We have an amazing view of Electron powering its way to orbit for Capella. Very soon, we will approach max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure, the moment that the rocket experiences the most stress as it climbs. Let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has cleared max Q. Electron is supersonic. Approaching max Q. High voltage battery discharge is nominal. Cleared max Q. An electron has cleared max Q. The rocket is performing nominally so far, now up to 16 kilometers in altitude as it reaches speeds of more than 2,300 kilometers an hour. Next up are three events in electron's ascent that will happen in quick succession. First up, we have Miko, the moment when all nine Rutherford engines on the first stage throttle down and then shut off completely. Guidance Very quickly after moment. that, we'll have the separation of the first and second stages, followed by the ignition of the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage as the mission continues to orbit. Those calls should be coming up from our operators in mission control soon, so let's listen closely. Stage one propulsion holding nominal. Stand by for Miko in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. And all stations, I just uh, we have experienced an anomaly. Um, please remain on station, and we will investigate and action the anomaly plan. Uh oh, 45's not up yet.
It appears that we've had an issue during today's flight, so we'll be ending today's webcast to give operators time to review the data and share details as soon as they come to hand. Thanks for joining us for today's webcast. This is Mission Control, signing off. <laughs>